Fifteen years after Chernobyl, the accident still casts a shadow on vast territories in Russia, the Ukraine and Belarus. Abandoned settlements will remain uninhabitable for many years to come. About one-fifth of the Belarus territory was contaminated with radionuclides. Today, hundreds of villages have radiation levels noticeably higher due to the Chernobyl fallout. The International Atomic Energy Agency is helping to find the best methods to decrease levels of external radiation exposure in rural settlements. In Belarus, these decontamination methods are used for each individual house. A high-pressure water jet washes away radionuclides that collected on rooftops in the wake of the accident. The drain water soaked up by topsoil carries away the radioactive products. Decontamination of a homestead is complete when the top layer of soil is removed. By this method, one does not have to wait until radionuclides decay in a natural way. Perhaps even more, it helps to ease the psychological worry of the affected population, old and young alike. Contaminated land can also be recovered for safe and productive uses. The prime candidate for such use is a yellow flowering plant called rapeseed. Its tiny seeds do not take radioisotopes from the soil and contain oil, which can be processed into lubricant or cooking oil. A pilot refinery plant has been built in the town of Mozit in Belarus. The project grew out of an old factory producing lubricants. The Belarus authorities teamed up with the IAEA's technical cooperation to update it into a refinery producing edible oil. The missing link was to install a superfine filter and a unique cascade of deodorizing the oil, all of it supplied by the agency. The IAEA Director General, Mohamed El Baradai, inaugurated the plant during his visit to Belarus at the end of August 2001. The refinery is the first of its kind to have a complete cycle and the target is to market over 4,000 tons of edible oil each year. This is a very good model of what the agency has done to help the people of Belarus go back to their normal life, cultivate their land and, and make good economic sense out of their own life here. The oil produced at the refinery undergoes stringent quality control at the state-of-the-art equipment to meet all safety standards. In addition, the IAEA Zabesdorf laboratory has confirmed that this rapeseed oil fully meets the standards set by the World Health Organization. About a tenth of the Belarus population can become potential customers for the oil from rapeseed, which have been immediately called the seeds of hope.